Mr Limbrick. Thank you, Deputy President. The bill before us seems to imply that the government believes that there's no limits on what government policy can be entrenched in the, in the Constitution. Is that actually the view of the government? Um, thank you, Dr Limbrick. Um, the, the government's view based on legal advice, and it's, as, as we're referring to the Constitution itself, the parliament, uh, the, the, the laws, the laws have to be in respect to the powers or the procedures of the parliament to be able to, to, be, to be entrenched. So there's that limitation. Mr. Thank you, Deputy President. I thank the attorney for her answer. How is banning fracking part of the powers and procedures of the parliament? Any? Because what the bill is doing is constraining a future parliament's ability to undo a law. Mr Limbrick. Thank you, Deputy President. I thank the attorney for her answer. Uh, but surely that means that any policy position could limit future governments if that's the case, if the government believes that. Isn't that correct? Attorney. Uh, I wouldn't want to give general advice without a specific example. Mr Limbrick. Uh, thank you, Deputy President. I thank the attorney for her answer. Um, what legal advice did the government receive to provide them confidence that this entrenchment would be legally effective? Attorney. Thank you, Deputy President. Um, uh, as with all bills that the government bring to the parliament, um, legal advice is sought. And in this instance, the Solicitor General provided advice. Um, included in that advice was that this bill is likely to be a law that is respecting the powers and procedure of the parliament because it seeks to constrain the parliament's powers or procedures to pass effective laws. And the bill must therefore be made in accordance with any applicable manner and form um, requirement. So in, the, in relation to, I listen to your contribution, so in relation to um, the ability of the parliament to do this, uh, the constitutionality of it, our advice is that this is, uh, this is a sound bill um, to, the best, to the best of knowledge of the legal advice that we could obtain. Mr Limbrick. Uh, th thank you, Deputy President. I thank the mm -hmm. attorney for her answer. Um, I, as I said in my contribution, I spoke to a number of uh, constitutional experts before coming to a decision on this bill. Um, which constitutional experts did the government seek opinions from to uh, determine the constitutional validity of this? both in terms of the Australia Act and the, and the Victorian Constitution. Attorney. Yeah. Um, as with uh, constitutional um, matters, we seek our advice from the Solicitor General. Uh, thank you, Deputy President. I thank the attorney for her answer. Um, with regards to uh, enforceability, so does, does, the, does the attorney believe that this bill will be enforceable? And if so, on what basis will it be enforceable if a future government decided to go ahead with uh, fracking, for example? Attorney? That's not a question I can answer, Mr Limbrick. It's not, a, it's not for me to determine such matters. 